No, you cannot go get a jewel. What was first. I googling? I was gonna google something. I don't know. I'm still in it. You gotta do it from all the way back there. Well, can we see it? Because my back hurts. Oh my god. Do we need mics? <laughs> no, we don't need mics. You don't need to take out all the space. Well, you're pushing me you out of the half, frame. Half a frame each. Hi, you know what half looks like. <laughs> oh god, this is why I don't film with you. Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. If we look very tired, because I feel tired, it's not our children, it's actually because we're older and we've spent all week binge watching Bridgerton. Because we're behind the times. Yeah. Everyone watched it during yeah. COVID. Is it that old? I think so. Oh jeez, okay, we're really behind then. Um, we've been watch been watching, binge watching Bridgerton, so um, we've been staying up a lot longer than we should sure. be this week and we're too old to deal with that these days I'll anyway do. it's just like milk and cows this is the guy who was laying by there going i think i need to go get gin anyway well gin's gonna make me more tired <laughs> we are slotting in this quick video before we go pick up the kids from school um if you haven't seen the first one i've already done one video and that just covered my health my life Tart cherry. Tart cherry. Ta yeah, Micah took tart cherry. Remember to get him to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And about how a you were quite tart and very cherry. <laughs> and a bunch of other things that didn't concern Martin. So now we're into the nitty gritty fun stuff that everybody wants to know about. Okay, I asked you guys. I said, ask me anything for a vlog. 90%, 90% was, are you going to have another baby? Well, your channel did used to be called IVF Mama Vlogs. I know. So. I know, but still. Surprising. So, actually not 90%, it was a little bit, it was a little bit less than that, because then the other majority of the questions were about, obviously, the house and moving and stuff. So, do you want to talk about the house first, or do you want to talk about the baby first? So, ah, baby, ah, baby first. I'm not, pre baby. I'm not breathing. <laughs> Um, House or baby? Whatever. Well, we're not having a baby. Right now. Right now. We are about to live in a caravan for potentially 12 months or longer. So, no baby. And if you watch the first video, I have, issues. I have uterine issues. So, even if I were to try, no baby's going to stay in there. So... It's not a very nice home. No, not a very hospitable home in my womb right now. Anyway, so... Yeah, I'll paint the town red. <laughs> really? Babe, the baby's town would be red. <laughs> the baby's town would be red. Oh what does that God. saying even mean? I don't know. Go, Go out and enjoy, enjoy oneself flamboyantly. flamboyantly. That sounds really Bridgerton. Go out and enjoy oneself. Flam 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 flamboyantly. Flamboyantly. So we're not having this a baby. Is, this is a really we long. Both really want a baby. Yeah. Long story short, do we want to have a baby number four? The uh, the short answer is yes. Yes. The, the long, long answer, answer is. There's oh. lots of conditions. <laughs> yeah. Like if we have another baby, it's another five years. Um, well, that's not the conditions. The conditions are that we have to live in a caravan for a year and my womb is inhospitable. Oh, we must be thinking differently. Oh, okay. This is all good. <laughs> we need more space. It's more expensive. But then we both really want a baby. We're old, so do we want to have another baby? Because, you know... Although my mum was 35 when she had me. Brooke was 40 when she had her last. So... We've been up and down with this, so... And are you tired, Brooke? <laughs> She's fine. So when we first had Micah, we were just like, we're done, you know, we've had three, we've had the typical three children, although it's apparently 1.5 kids is typical. Anyway, we've had our typical three kids, and we thought we were done, and then... Every time I see a baby, I get clucky. Yeah, he would get really clucky, and I'm all like, no, I can't do that. And then I would get all clucky, and he'd be like, no, we can't do yeah. that. And then, for a short period of time, we both were on the same page. And we're let's like, have let's baby. have another baby. Um, but then we sold our house, bought a <laughs> section and a caravan. And now we're like, no way do we want to have a baby in a caravan. Yeah, so there's going to be no baby oh, and, this year. And her thing. In, hosp in hospitable the womb. There's also thing. the little yeah. thing, too, 
is that if we're, I have another baby, I have to have another C-section. Because when I had Micah, if you don't know the story, long story short, he flipped over, was trying to come out feet first, had to go for an emergency C-section. The cat lots um, crap up. The, the cat lots of crap up. They had to do a T and an inverted T incision. So they did the normal C <laughs> they did the normal C section line, but then not on my stomach, but in inside my womb, they had to cut up as well. Not hundred percent sure why. They had trouble getting him out and stuff like that. So they had to do an extra Because he was already down the canal. Yeah, he was already pretty much beaten. They should have just let me birth him, but there were reasons, whatever. They would have choked themselves. Um it was called abruption or something called abruption or i don't know there was risks of him basically having issues anyway um so i'm not allowed to have a v-back which if you don't know what that means it's vaginal vaginal birth after cesarean so i'm not allowed to have a v-back so i have to have a c-section c-section suck if we get pregnant again you can be the one telling annie who told you to stop after two she didn't tell me to stop after two she highly Suggested not having another one. No, she didn't. She was fine. I'm allowed to have more babies. Anyway. Yeah, totally. So, C-section, risk of placental abruption and all that jazz. So, it's a, it'll be a high-risk pregnancy. Uh, anyway, if I do get pregnant again, I'd say that no midwife will ever take me on ever again. And it'll probably have to be an... Can you just stop pooping? That's the way we assume. We're lying down. My yeah, and I can feel fine. your body heat, and it's already 400 degrees today. And it's because you're leaning on me. Um, so. Come <laughs> back over. Um, so I would have a high risk pregnancy anyway because obviously C-section, high blood pressure, preeclampsia. All those things. None of my pregnancies have been normal. None of my pregnancies have ended in a normal birth. Uh, Mila Rose was a normal birth, but they've all like been induced and things like that because of problems. Because your body hates you. So pregnancy is probably not an ideal thing to do. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have a fourth. But I want another baby. Yeah, I know. So do I. They're really cute. But we've got like friends that are in that stage of life. Oh yeah, but that's not the same. It's not the same cuddling other people's babies and then giving them back. I was like that with a puppy the other day. I was like, this is really cute, but I get to give it back to you and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now I kind of know how people feel about the whole baby thing. Are you, are you trying to relate? Are you trying to say that puppies are like babies? Yeah, they kind of are like babies yeah. actually. Yeah. So I don't know, there's some big, big risks Lots with, of question marks. With having another baby. But to answer the question of do we want another baby, the answer is definitely yes. yes. Will we have another baby? There is a big question mark on that. It will not be this year. No matter what. Because I'm not bringing up a baby in a caravan. Even though it takes nine months to make a baby. Too. But our friends build a house and they're in their caravan for three years, so... Yeah, there's that. I'm hoping we're, we're not going to be in our caravan for three years. Okay, so it's like a segue coming on to the house build information now. So, Nicole's, we have talked about, we talked about selling our house for ages. The housing market in New Zealand, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world, but it's like absolutely insane. We were selling our house and we thought about putting it on the market. We were like, okay, let's put it on for this price. And then literally two months later, when we did when we were getting around to doing other things, we're like, okay, we need to bring it up and put it up to this price. Then a couple of months later, and all of a sudden, you know, six to eight months later or whatever, it's like a whole hundred thousand dollars more. It's insane. Than what we were originally going to sell it for. We were we were quite lucky. We brought our place here at the right time for a really good price. Um, and and we've, we've, we've put we've, a lot of money. Yeah, into we've spent a lot of time and stuff, and so we managed to be we sold it and were able to buy our section freehold. Mm. So that's really good. So yeah, so we ended up, we sold it privately to someone that had been bugging us for ages. Um, and so that that was really good. And it meant we didn't have to do as much stuff to it. And, and the person who has uh, bought our house wants us to stay in here too. So right now we actually technically don't own our house anymore. We're renting our own house while he sort of gets ready to move in well slash and, and he is easy like 
on us too like knowing that we're trying to sort our lives out and that we've got to get the caravan sorted and things like that so he's not in a hurry to get us out and we're not in a hurry to leave yeah <laughs> pretty, much. pretty much yeah which is good because the caravan's small <laughs> if you have any advice on living yeah. in a caravan <laughs> or building a house in new zealand Hit us up with some uh, information below. Um, some person, actually, I do have some people sent me proper questions. Oh, so, Sharon. No, I don't think I'll be able to keep my desk clean. That was one question. In the new house. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. All right. Love ya. Someone said, do you think you'll travel more being in a caravan? I Hopefully, think so. yeah, we want to. We kind of... It depends where we're parked up and how much we've how got easy out. It. Also, so we kind of... We bought this caravan and then the plan is towards the end of the build to sell it because we'll probably need that money to like put the finishing touches on. So we'd love to keep it and then be able to use it to travel and stuff. But at the end of the day, we it's going to be pretty tight to get what we want. So we'll probably have to sell it. So we discussed last night that, yeah, we want to use it as much as we can over the summer while we've got it and go camping to different places. Yeah. And then at the end of our build, when all the bills are coming and stuff like that, if we can afford to keep it, then we will. And if we can't, then we won't. But it is a yeah. big amount of money that we can sell it for to do, like, lots of things in our house. So Or the landscaping. Or, yeah, mostly like landscaping. Put the deck on or a, pool. a swimming pool in. Yeah. yeah. So it's... But because that's such a long... Like, it's far away. So we're not riding it off. Yeah, we're not saying we're not going to keep it, but when we're not saying we are going to keep it i mean if if more of you guys like and subscribe <laughs> and watch the videos maybe we can keep it and not skip the ads <laughs> don't skip the ads i've been teaching our kids because they watch our videos which isn't that weird like don't skip the ads all right um what do the kids think of caravan life well they're very excited yeah all they know of it so far is that they've been inside that caravan and know that's where we're going to live that's all they know oh and i've also said to them that they can't take all their toys i'm going to do a massive clean out of their toys everything in our conservatory they're pretty much going to be minimalists keep. yeah we're going to build this house with like a shit ton of storage and then we're going to have nothing to fill the cupboards with anyway so i'm going to do a big clean out of all this stuff i'm going to have pretty much they're going to get like a 10 liter or, uh, 10 litre 40 litre tub like a, just a clear tub what they can fit in there is all they're going to be allowed the rest has got to go into storage yeah they're excited though yeah they are excited I mean, it's because they don't know what they're in yeah, for they, <laughs> the good thing is we're we're not living on the section because you're not allowed but um, we're, where we're staying is a house so yeah we're going to be on someone's property yeah. yeah so we can use and they'll be, yeah with some other kids so it'll be but we're together. we're selling the majority of the items in our house a lot of the big items because we just don't have anywhere to store them yeah Oof. so if you want a <laughs> shitty couch that's been weed on puke fleas, on, snappy's exactly. changed hundreds of people jumped on it and broken it our night friends thanks very much yeah. uh, that couch hit us, has hit us gone up. through the ringer man we'll probably pay you to take it away yeah it's not worth anything because it's just been so yeah kids are excited wrecked um how long do you think the new build will take said about 12 months but realistically it could be 18 it could be 18 months um what te survival techniques are you going to employ uh well the person we bought the caravan <laughs> off said if you get sick of the kids lock them in the shower lock them in the what shower oh in the caravan shower yeah. right don't call sifs um oh it's not sifs anymore it's orang and tamariki anyway i think just getting out a lot um especially because we're at the end of summer now so we're going to be spending full-blown winter in this caravan house sitting lots of house sitting mm, yeah see i'm not good with house sitting though like i'm a real i like my even if it's in a caravan i like my place i like my stuff i like to know where my things are so when i'm in someone else's house i'm always like don't touch the that thing don't break that thing like my kids you know if they're being rough and if they were to break a vase or if they were to misplace something or their dog chews the outside of their windows. <laughs> Inside joke. But um, yeah, I just don't like being in other people's houses because I'm scared that us or the kids are going to wreck it. Um, I think we just need to get out and walk a lot and go do things. So other than that, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're winging it. Watch this space. We're living by YOLO and hashtag making memories. So that's we... it. 
the plan too is to vlog it more. Yeah. The whole journey. Thing. I think it'll be interesting. You'll see. Yeah, it'll be interesting think, to look back on. I think this, like, my hairline will go further back. No. It's already very grey, you probably can't tell in the video. We both look extremely you tired. You photoshop this though, are you like, <laughs> After Effects stuff in. Anyway, up. this is another 20 minute video. Um, basically, we're not too sure how this is all going to go down. Don't know. Take we don't have. We don't have a plan. We're taking a risk. Oh, uh, the reason we did it is because we've been looking to like upgrade or get a bigger house for probably two years, eh? Really? Yeah. Good realistically, yeah, good and place. with the property market going up, and even our lawyer said that like she's like, people just can't afford to buy a house, so that everyone's building. Yeah. Hence why there were no sections. We were lucky to get the one we got. Just to make a point, the section we just bought cost more a significant more amount of money is that good english a significant amount more a, a significant amount more money than what we bought our entire house and section for when we bought this house that's just to show how crazy it is like we paid more and all we've got is some grass and yeah yeah so how anyway that's that's so we we wanted bigger we also this house we've done quite a bit to it and we're sick of spending our weekends painting and fixing and putting jib up and putting lights in so we want to buy a new house that we don't have to do anything to and spend more time with the kids and spend more time with the kids and just build a house that's more suited to our needs and a change as well we've been in this house eight years this year and while that's probably not long for some people i know some people live in houses for 40 years or just build their house and like, then never leave like my old man yeah um and i'm not good with change but i think this is going to be a good change and I'm looking forward to it, the end result, to see what it's going to be like. It's so an cool. interesting journey. One we've never been on before. it would be awesome. I'm nervous. <laughs> when we tell everyone that we're moving into a caravan, they're like, Oh! Ooh! That's a bit of a squeeze. I'm like, How big is it? Yeah. Oh. oh. And I know that there are people out there on YouTube. Uh, if you guys have followed us for years, you'll know that we're just you know, average Joes. We're not like these big youtubers but there, i know there are big youtubers out there right now who have gone and done the exact same thing as us gone and bought their rvs and what does rv even stand for recreational vehicle oh recreational vehicle they've gone and bought rvs and these big caravan stuff and they're very fancy and they're building these very fancy houses and their their look throughs of their houses are like they're yeah, like but mansions houses and stuff. are way cheap to build over in america oh are they well and rvs so you're not going to see that with us. You're basically going to see the nitty gritty, normal, average Joe life of a typical Kiwi family living in a caravan trying to build a house. Just saying. Just letting you know there ain't going to be no mansion. There ain't going to be no We're not building caravan. a 4,000 square foot house. No, we're not. We're thinking about particular YouTubers that we watched not that long ago. And we're like, that is a very, very, very big house. How do you even clean it? pay a cleaner yeah well, i suppose if you can afford that you can afford to clean it guys anyway watch the space okay thanks for you remind me of that 90s cartoon and he's got like a black shirt on i know who you mean do yeah. you know who i, I, can't I mean remember who it is. yeah oh and there you go my battery is blinking good timing so make sure you if you want to watch <laughs> the journey like and subscribe how do they all do it like we're not your typical but it would be cool if you want to subscribe or if you already have been watching us because yeah. it'll, like, she's been pretty busy and not vlogged much. I keep hitting her up. She's still putting Christmas I videos up on YouTube. I just finished that. I finished that. They're all up now. We're, we're, we're almost March. But these ones will be more regular and it'll be cool. You'll see life in the caravan and the build and we'll show you everything. Yep. So that's fun. It's real us. It's not scripted and... Yeah. For anyone who knows us, you'll know that we're, we're not influencers. <laughs> yeah, we're not influencers. We're not even really YouTubers. Just, but if you want to give us some free shit, sweet. <laughs> if you want to hook us up, <laughs> hook us up. Yeah, we need concrete, we need windows, we need roofing, we need plants. Yeah, we'll, we'll do like a real thing. Yeah. If you've got any uh, items that would make living in a caravan life easier, send it my way. I'll do a review. Cheers. Stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.